I'm Arthel Neville. Time now for Sunday House Call. And I'm Arashan, as always, welcome. Joining us, as always, Dr. Mark Siegel, professor of medicine at NYU's Langone Medical Center and author of The Inner Pulse, Unlocking the Secret Code of Sickness and Health. And Dr. David Samadhi, chairman and professor of urology at Lenox Hill Hospital and chief of robotic surgery. Good to see you both, Good Doc. To see Good you. to see you. Doctors, hello. Hope you had a nice week. Yes, yes. We start today with a, a breakthrough, they say, a new study about aspirin. You take an aspirin, one of those little baby aspirins? Yeah, I took one two days ago. Well, you could just do it almost every day. I know, I don't, though. Talk to your doctor about it. Well, <laughs> Here they are. There's a new study about aspirin therapy, therapy. They say it does help prevent heart attacks and colorectal cancer. But the new guidelines, they say, are not without some serious side effects. So, Dr. Siegel, first, you know, we've talked about baby aspirin. Popping one a day is a, is a miracle, potentially. Uh, should you take baby aspirin? And what does this new study show? Eric, I want to start with a word of caution to people out there. Mm. Aspirin is an over-the-counter medication. So no matter what we say, no matter what David and I say today, ask your doctor, an internist, a cardiologist, or a neurologist, if you're worried about a stroke, should you be on an aspirin or not? Because nobody should be on an aspirin without their physician knowing about it. Now, we're talking about 81 milligrams here, by the way. That's the preventive dose, because anything higher than 81 milligrams already increases your risk of bleed. And we're worried about bleeds, Eric. One out of 1,000 bleeds per year for people on aspirin. So before anybody recommends aspirin, they got to take that into account. GI bleeds, bleeds into the brain, these things happen. Because it's a blood you know, thinner, right? The blood, right, yeah. it's a platelet drug. Now, why well, how do you know if you got that? Why, you, you got that because yeah. you see blood in your stool or, okay. or, 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 or you start feeling poorly, you could have a stroke from a bleed. Wow. You could have blood in your mouth. I don't want to scare people, yeah. but I want to caution them. You did now, already. Yeah. So then what about this? <laughs> I've scared people, but, but I want to tell you, I got to tell you the good side, though. Cancer. I got to tell you the good side. The United States Preventative Service Task Force is adding their voice to the American Heart Association and the American, um, and the American Stroke Association, both who say if your risk of stroke or heart attack over 10 years is about 10 percent, a baby aspirin a day from the ages of 50 to 69, very, 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 very helpful. And I use it in those areas. Plus, the risk of colon cancer goes down by about 40% a year because it's an anti-inflammatory. Dr. Samadhi, you're, kind of, you're shaking your head. Okay, I think this is a big news. So whenever U.S. task force make a big recommendation, it's for, important for people to pay uh, attention to this because now they're talking about public. But everyone's risk is different when it comes to colon cancer. Everyone's risk of bleeding is very different. So you have to pay attention to what's going on. They basically look at thousands of people in the clinical trial. And if you're between the age of 50 to 59, these are the group that if they have 10% risk of heart attack and they're planning to be around for the next 10 years, and if you take aspirin for a long period, over six to 10 years, you may have lower risk of getting colon cancer. How do they find out about this? It's an observational study, meaning that they were using aspirin to prevent heart disease, and then they said, okay, wait a second. This group that was on aspirin, they had lower chance, so maybe it will help them. Over the age of 60, there was not a lot of help, and this has nothing to do with people over the age of 70 or under the age of 50, so you have to be really careful. I'm not necessarily convinced that this is really the big gun over here. I, we know that a lot of times when there's cancer in the colon, you need a vehicle to get out, which is something called prostaglandins, and aspirin prevents it. So there is some truth to this, and I think that if you are at a very high risk of colon cancer, if you have one of these familial polyposis, if you have genetic predisposition, which Arthur always brings up, then I think it's a good discussion with your doctor and say, should I go on aspirin? By the way, this wasn't always 81 milligram aspirin. In this particular study, it was 325, and it was a mixed one. So when you start taking higher dose, bleeding from all cells, and as you get older, you right. have like I, higher I, I, I side wanna, effects. I want to hone back in because you're right. I want to ask about the genetic de, uh, predisposition, and I start with you, Dr. Mark, on that one because Dr. Samadhi said that if you're in that group, I think from 50 to 59 yes, uh, is the number. that's the highest benefit from taking because aspirin. you have a higher risk if you have a high risk for heart attack. But how do you know if you well, don't if it's not in your in your family? So. Actually, 50 to 59 is the better group because over 60, your risk of bleeding is higher. So the thing I was warning you about at the beginning is higher. Your point, Arthel, about genetic predisposition, you know, that's very interesting. It's family history. It's whether you're a smoker. It's whether you're a drinker. It's what your cholesterol is. Because let me tell you what's actually happening down on the artery level. Arteries are filling with plaque whether they're arteries feeding the heart or arteries feeding the brain. They're, feeding, they're filling with sticky plaque. And when that plaque breaks, guess what forms on it? A clot. 
When a clot forms, you get a heart attack or stroke. Guess and what there prevents comes the There comes the aspirin. It prevents the platelets, the sticky stuff, from so forming what, clots. Aspirin like thins your blood and... Prevents the clot from forming okay. there and are, thereby yeah, decreases your risk of heart there, attack or stroke. Yeah, there are some cells in the colon, whether it's CD8 cells that may be prevented by aspirin, that reduces inflammation and reduces colon cancer. These are theories that are out there that nobody knows for sure. I think the big take-home message is, number one, make sure you understand that aspirin is not to replace your colonoscopy. This is the important message to a lot of people. Don't think that, why well, I'm taking aspirin, so I'm not going to go for my screening, and that's a big no, no. Have a discussion with your doctor, and I think U.S. Task Force is looking at the big public, but that's 90% of colon cancer, which, by the way, is a third leading cause of death. 50,000 incidents a year happens over the age of 50, yeah. and that's when we think that aspirin may help. But Personally, I don't know if you take aspirin or not. Well, I take it because my, I have a family history of heart disease there you and go. because I have high cholesterol. Oh, that's but, a good point. But, that, but, 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 I, but I want to emphasize something that David is saying here, which is it's the first time any guidelines has done this for the point of view of colon cancer. That's yeah. pretty you exciting. Just, but but not instead you of a said something more important, Dr. Mark, family that, history. Exactly. That's my father died of colon cancer, yeah. right. aspirin. You have family history, heart disease. Right. So, but bottom line, you should tell people, talk to your doctor, but I think aspirin is a miracle. 81 milligram, not 81. the higher 81 dose. milligrams, and if you have it in your family, absolutely, and you have other risk factors. And, but also, and Dr. Mark says, make sure you check with your doctor because it's yeah. blood thinner. It could counteract other medications and, you might be on. Go get a colonoscopy, please. But long-term effect and side effects of aspirin is also not to be ignored. Okay. Liver toxicity, Absolutely. bleeding, etc., is important. So don't just take it casually. Thanks, docs.